All right, so let's start looking at a few examples on the concepts of different concentration units. So concentration normally or in the base unit is commonly referred to as, uh, or when we refer to the concept of concentration, we normally think of mole per liter or molarity. Um, but of course, concentration can refer to anything really of a substance dissolved in something else or something in something else or a percentage of one thing in a sample or a mixture of anything really can give you the concentration of a species. So there are different ways to express them. So a couple of ones that we were looking at in this example is weight percentage, molality, and mole fraction. So what we're concerned here with is concentrated hydrochloric acid is an aqueous solution of 37.2% HCl that is commonly used laboratory agent. The density of the solution is 1.19 gram per milliliter. And we then asked uh, one mass of HCl is contained in 0.5 liter of the solution. So what this 37.2% uh, implies is that is actually a mass per mass or sometimes referred to as weight per weight um, kind of expression. And what it formally means, if we want to write it explicitly, is it means that we have 37.2 gram of HCl per 100 gram of solution. So 37.2% HCl means that there is 37.2 gram. HCl per 100 gram solution or we well, are solution. All right. Um, and of course, that's going to give us a way to then calculate how much HCl there is in a certain volume of the solution because we then ask what mass of HCl is contained in so much volume of the solution. So if we have the mass of the solution, we know how much HCl is in the solution. All right, so we have the volume of the solution, we have the density, hence we can get the mass of the solution. And so we can just use our dimensional analysis to quickly determine that. So the volume of the solution is given as 0.5 zero zero liter so that means the mass so this is m refers to the mass of the solution is equal to the volume of the solution times the density of the solution so 0 0.5 zero zero times 10 to the power so the density is given in milliliter. So this will then be 10 to the power of three milliliter. Density is 1.19 gram per milliliter. Of course, you just adjust the volume unit to get to a unit that will cancel with your density. And you get a value of 595 gram of solution. All right, so we know that there's 37.2 gram in 100 gram of solution. So that means if we have 595 gram of solution, we just multiply those two things together to get the mass of HCl. So therefore the mass of HCl equal to 37.2 gram HCl per 100 
gram of solution, we have five, nine, five gram solution that gives us a value of two to one gram HCl. Okay. I think that and that's basically just uh, this example is just to give you an idea of what would typically 37.2% HCl refer to. It refers to a mass per mass or a weight per weight um, basis um, unit. Sometimes it will be given more explicit, but usually percentage refers to a mass unit rather than something like mole fraction or molarity or molality. Um, those things will refer to, will be given explicitly or stated explicitly. If it's a percentage, then it normally refers to a mass. Um, it's a more conventional way to speak because we know a mass. If you say something consists of 70% um, alcohol, then you know well, alcohol is a liquid, so then it makes sense that we might be speaking about a volume. In other words, so many, so many liter per whatever. But if you're speaking about, uh, let's say, for example, sodium chloride in water, then and we tell you it's thirty percent, then you know it might be speaking about a mass per volume um, kind of unit because sodium chloride is normally a solid at room temperature. Well, I say normally it is a solid at room temperature or STP, and water. Um, it's called it's a liquid, so uh, it's kind of common sense. The question here is a bit ambiguous, but you can arrive at the idea of that it's an aqueous solution. So, and it's going to refer to a mass per mass basis here. So, or at least that's what I was trying to explain here. Right. So, anyway, let's move on. <laughs> Calculate the mole fraction and molality of the concentrated acid. So let's start by what are the base definitions that we need. So mole fraction of HCl. So mole fraction of anything would be the number of moles of the thing that you're interested in divided by the total number of moles of the mixture. So that would be the number of moles of it plus the number of moles of how many other things that they are and it's a solution, so it means there is water present. So it's actually our water. And molality, which is also given the symbol M, but let's write it out to just not confuse ourselves. So let's write molality. I also wouldn't be against it if you use, for example, a symbol like CM of HCl. Maybe so molality of HCl. Right, so maybe just help yourself instead of writing M HCl. And I mean that looks like the mass of HCl. I mean um, but in principle it's the symbol is M HCl. And that of course is the number of moles of HCl divided by the mass of the solvent, which in this case is water. Right. So what we need is a number of moles of the solute. And we need the mass of the solvent. Okay. So let's, in both cases, we need the number of moles of HCl, we probably need a number of moles of water, and from that we'll also be able to get the mass of the water. So, um, if we take, let's say, um, 100 grams, 100 gram of solution, of solution, would imply that the mass of HCl is equal to 37.2 gram and, and the mass of water would make up the rest, right? Because that's 100 gram of the solution. The solution in total 
weighs 100 gram, right? So that means water and HCl combined weighs 100 gram, not the water and we add HCl. Then you can confuse yourself with that. That's why it explicitly says there at top HCl is 37.2 gram HCl per 100 gram of the solution. It's a ratio. That's not a divide or it's, it means there is for every 100 grams that you see, 37% of that 100 grams is HCl. Okay. And so that means the mass of the water would be then 62.8 gram. Ooh. My apologies. My hand just slipped there. Um, so in other words, we can get the number of moles of HCl here. Which will, of course, be um, the mass of HCl divided by, and let's, the molar mass of HCl. And the molar mass of HCl is 36.46. Let's just make a note of it here. Um, oh, let's write it out. Uh, 37.2 gram. Divided by 36.46 gram per mole. The number of moles of water. It's of course the same idea, so it's the 62.8 gram. Divided by the molar mass of water. Uh, which is 18 point something, 0, 1, 8, 1, 5, I think, gram per mole. I'm going to write it somewhere specifically, but you can just check that. You should get a value of 3.48 um, whatever mole water. And of course, the number of moles of HCl here is 1.02 mole HCl. All right, so we have the number of moles, we have the mass, and that's all the things that we need here. So um, that means the mole fraction of HCl is then equal to, you can plug in those values there, so it's 0 0.12 over 0 0.12 plus 3.48, you should get a value of 0 0.226. And therefore, so let's call it CM of HCl. If you want to call it CM, just maybe write somewhere molality is equal to CM. Why do I call it CM? It means it's concentration, but it's molality. Um, and of course, it will have its units. So that's how we distinguish between it. So you'll get here a unit of 16.2. So you'll substitute in the number of moles of HCr, divide by the mass of water. So your unit is going to be mole per kilogram. So you need to convert the number of the grams of water to kilograms. And importantly, maybe let's just be explicit about a couple of things. You can write this as 16.2 mole HCl per kilogram H2O, just so that you know, or what is the unit? It's 16.2 molal. So that is the unit of molality. It is molal, just like molarity's unit is molar. So 16.2 um, molal. All right. So, um, this is just a basic example to introduce the concept of the units, how to cancel them, and how to use them. I hope it kind of makes sense just to uh, 
good. The mo the one I'm most concerned about is the molality. Um, to get it, it's mole per kilogram of solvent. Um, so making big note somewhere of what it is and the differences between it and normal concentration in molarity. Uh, then you should be fine. All right. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.